I think I played in the wrong era. I think I could have played in the 80s when it was just fun to drink and get in trouble. Hey, I'm Isaac John, former rugby league player and entrepreneur. In this series, we dive behind the scenes of some of your favourite athletes and their transition into business. In this episode, we're down here in Melbourne checking with former AFL star Brenda Favola. This is Psygig, presented by Our DV. <laughs> Feb, thanks for having me, bro. Hey, how's that? How are you, man? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, Everyday Australia, how did yes. you get into it? About nearly a year and a half ago, I caught up with a now mate, Andrew Egan and his wife, Jackie. Now, I've always wanted to get into beer. Um, I drink a lot of it, but I would not know how to make it. I mean, after having a few chats with Andrew, who had been in the process for a, a long period of time, a year later, we are out brewing and uh, we've brewed the beer and we're out uh, outsourcing it to, to pubs and bottleos and um, everyone's loving it, so uh, it's been an exciting journey so far. What's some of the best experiences you've learned from being a professional sportsman and transferring over to business? Well, I lost it a little bit in between. I think with footy, as you'd know, like you're so structured, you know, you're told when to do things. It's like when you're at school or you know, growing up as a kid. I think that's a great structure, especially for my mentality that I needed. And then once I finished post footy, I didn't have any of that. <laughs> I was sleeping a lot, and then you get, you know, you go down a bloody wormhole of I don't want to do anything. And then obviously being in business, you know, with this venture with the beer, with Andrew and Jack, you know, doing the pitches and stuff, you know, you get that whoa, competitive juices going, you know, I want to beat that beer, I want to get in. So I think compared to footy, it's very similar because, you know, when you get on the field, you want to be competitive, you want to win. And I think that's the same with the beer. Um, you know, it gives you a purpose to get out there and do something instead of sitting at home drinking the product, <laughs> which, I, which I do a little bit of. So we throw you in a time machine right now, you become 20 years old, you're in the AFL. You I probably do everything, same, you, you do everything the same, bro. You do everything the same? 100%. 100%. Wouldn't change a thing? Because things? I'm me and I've lived that and things happen for me for a reason. And I'm pretty happy with my life now. So I reckon I'd do everything the same. I don't reckon I'd change too much. All right, what does your day-to-day -day look like? Day-to-day, uh, -day, so obviously I, I work on breakfast radio, so I'm up at, you know, quarter to four every morning, um, in the studio, 4.30, finish at nine. I mean, you know, I get home and, you know, you make calls for the beer, obviously. Um, go out to pubs, bottle shops, because, you know, it's a, a really tough market, so you've got to get out there and, you know, weekends are pretty much kids' sport, drinking everyday Australia <laughs> and watching the footy. <laughs> Back in the day when AFL players were starting to move into business and you were doing stuff like that, did you guys have mentors in that space? Or Back then I didn't even really worry about it, but with Carlton, um, you know, we're one of the biggest clubs, so you know, you've got a lot of people that are involved and support the club that are really rich, but I've never, I've never once lent on that, but now that we're in the beer, I've lent on a few people because a lot of Carlton people own pubs <laughs> and they've asked me to do things and I've done things for other people and I always give my time to do other things, but now I'm like, Oh, I'm going to see if I can cash in on that sort of stuff. What is this dream for every day? It's a year in, you know, we're in a you know, heap of pubs at the moment. We're at the Riversdale here now, um, which has been a great help. You know, it's going really well. Everyone that drinks it, um, you know, really loves it. So, you know, our beer's a lot different to, to, to others where you've got no additives, no preservatives, made from the Macedon waters, which is great. It's a really good beer. We just want everyone in a, you know, especially in Melbourne at the moment, to, to have it in their pubs and have it in their bottle shops and they can enjoy the beer as much as I do when I get home on a Friday afternoon and drink about 15 of them on the couch. Hi <laughs> <laughs> right, my friend, um, nice meeting you and all the best for the transition. Thanks man, cheers. Go buy your everyday Australia. <laughs> it's been super inspiring to see what Fev's done post-football career with Everyday Australia. Thanks for watching Psychic, presented by RDV.